So arrays are great. Instead of creating five or six variables, we can create one array where you can have multiple values. In fact, we have also seen how to use array. The thing is, uh, when you talk about array, it, uh, it has a limited values, right? So if you say you have an array of five elements, you'll be having array of only five elements. You cannot add element, you cannot delete element, right? And that's why in Java, we got this amazing feature called as collection API. Now in collection, we have certain classes or interfaces like list, set. Now using which you can have multiple values. Maybe you can have five values, you can have 10 values. The amazing thing is you can expand it, you can reduce it. Question arise, how can we use list in, or maybe list interface or maybe set interface. So how can we use list inside Kotlin? Now, uh, if you're thinking this is difficult and uh, not exactly this is damn easy. What we will do here is, uh, we'll say, let's create, let me create a bad value. So I want to have a set of values. Now in this values, I will not be having one, one value or maybe two value. Maybe I can have any number of values and I should be able to expand it. Let's say I want to make, make it, uh, if I have a 10 values, I want to make it 15 values. We can do that. So to achieve that, to achieve a feature of list, we have to use a, a function here called as list of, what was that? Not life of. Okay. So list of is a, list of is a function using which you can have, you can have multiple values here. Then, uh, is it composite to specify that? Let's, let's ignore that. Okay. So in the list of what you have to mention is, so when you, when you create a list, of course, you have to mention the type of data, right? Maybe you can have a list of uh, names. Maybe you can have a list of uh, some complex object, right? So let's say I have a list of int. Now to, to do that, we have to use this generic type, which is I'm specifying a generic type as int and we can have some default values here. So whatever, whatever value you have in your, in your hand, you can, let's say if you have eight, if you have nine, if you have four, if you have two, so I got all these values. So this is how we can create a list. So we can have a list of, and in this bracket, you can mention eight, nine, four, two. Now this values is of type list now. Uh, how can we verify? So if I explicitly mention, so if I say specify the type explicitly, if I click on that, you can see it gives you a list of integer. Right. If I remove that, you can see it gives you some options. So you can say uh, it is a list of integers. Uh, what is that? Okay. So list of integers, collection of integer, iterable. So let's go for a list here because this is a list and it is not compulsory to mention that on this side. Okay. That's even if you don't do that, that's fine. Okay. So once we have defined our values, how can we print these values? Uh, okay. So if you have, if you remember way back, we have talked about for loop. So using for loop, we can print all these values. Uh, so I will use a for loop here. I will use a uh, for loop where I will use for in loop basically. So I will say, uh, I in, so I in values and I can print one by one value. So you can say print L and you can pass I. So one by one, you can print all the values. Uh, let's verify this. So if I click on this play button, you can see we are getting, we'll be getting all the values. So you can see we got all the values here. So we got nine, uh, we got eight, nine, four, nine, two, with whatever values you have there. So this is how we can create a list and that's how we can print. But we have seen how to print it, right? Let's say if you want to have some extra feature, maybe you want to print only one value. How to do that? Uh, okay, what I will do here is I will say, I want to print only one value. So I will say print Ellen. So from the values, I want to fetch one particular value. So you can see we have get. So using get method, we can mention the, uh, we can mention the index number. Let's mention zero. So index number zero is eight, right? Let's run this code. If you, let's see if it is, if you're getting eight here. So if I run this code, it takes some, some time and you can see we, the output here is eight. So once we got all those four values, we're just printing eight. So whatever index number you have, you can use that. Uh, what else we can use? So we can say values dot. We also have index. Uh, in this index, if you specify some value, if I say nine, now nine is there at index number one, right? This is index number one for nine. Let's verify this. Is it printing one? Uh, and it is running and you can see it is printing one. So if you, if you know the value, you can print the index as well. And then we can say values dot. What else we have? So you can also use list, list trader. We can use, we can fetch the last value. Is it? Um, okay. Will it print last value? Maybe like, you can try this out. You can print the sub list. You can specify the index, in starting index end index. You can print the size as well. Uh, if you want to know the size of the list, you can do that. Uh, you can also use, uh, you, we'll talk about stream later. 
uh, we can use for each again these are some advanced thing we'll be doing this uh, in the future videos and yeah so we can use all these things now the amazing thing is we can fetch values we can check for the values right but how about if i want to add a new value so let's say i have these four values pre-hand and i want to add one more value in between so the moment i say uh, values dot you can see if i say add add is not working here now if you're coming from java background we know that in java in the list uh, object we can add values as well and this is not working here what's wrong the problem is in list in in kotlin especially we have two different types of list we have read only list and we have mutable list by default the list of method or the function will give you a read only list which means you cannot modify it uh, it's a good thing and a bad thing good good thing is that uh, you are safe for multiple threads the bad thing is of course you cannot mutate it then how can we achieve mutation here so it's very simple actually just say control space will it give you mutable okay let's try so you can say instead of using list of you can use muti mutable list of so instead of using list of i'm using mutable list of which offers you a uh, add method so if i say values dot uh we have add or oh no okay so what else we have here What's wrong? Am I missing something? If I remove this explicit declaration here. Okay. So you can see now we can say add. And in this add you can. Okay. So we, we have to remove the explicit declaration. Because it gives you a different type. And that is. It is mutable list. Yeah. So instead of using list. Because list is read only. You have to use mutable list here. And here you can mention add. Okay. So let's add a value. Let's add three. And let's see where it is getting added. So let's try this. Let's run this. And you should be getting three as well. So we got three at the end. Oh, uh, just let's, let me try. Let me set uh, set the value somewhere in between. So if I say add, you can see you can see we can also specify the index value. So I can say at index number two, I want the value three, which is uh, so after eight nine, I want three. Okay, let's try this out. So index number two, I want the value three, and it works right can you see that we got three at index number two so that's how we can use list in in kotlin so we can use normal list which is read only we can also use mutable list where you can add values in fact you can try it out there should be different options you can use getting here so well uh, apart from the list so you can see we also have option of replace which was which was not there earlier we got the option of remove we got the option of set right so we can we can all use all these methods uh, the only thing is you have to remember that list is read only and mutable list is you can mutate the values. So that's it from this video. If you enjoyed, just let me know in the comment section and do click on the like button as well. Thank you so much for watching.